How do you prevent your sleeping bag from getting wet when you're camping? One of the challenges is around the mouth or top area of your sleeping bag can get very wet. One of my subscribers, Nicholas Cavallo, hopefully I didn't pronounce your name incorrectly, my apologies if I did. Nicholas asked, probably a better question for one of your other videos, but how do you prevent your breath from getting the neck area around your sleeping bag wet? I was camping in my western mountaineering Kodiak at 19 degrees Fahrenheit, and the whole neck area was wet, or whole neck area about a half foot down was wet. Nicholas, that is a good question. There are two ways to deal with this. One, I've actually got a video on drying your sleeping bag just for that circumstance, because what happens is when you're camping and you draw a string this thing down, and you seal it up. <laughs> now, your breath is going to start condensating around this part of your bag, and it, by the morning it's going to be really wet, and that's happened to me constantly. So the first trick is literally just plan for it to be wet and dry your sleeping bag in the morning using some of the drying techniques I share in my book, uh, Adventure Expedition 1, or some of the videos I'll hopefully remember to link below. The second way to do it is, if you've got an expedition weight sleeping bag, and I know Nicholas does, there is a second baffle inside this bag here. See this little baffle here? If you Velcro this baffle shut, you can, with this drawstring, actually draw the bag completely closed, and it'll pretty much choke you out once you do it. But the whole theory is that you seal up around your neck, and then you put your most powerful hat in the universe from Mouseworks, you put your balaclava, you put your windproof hat, you put your other hat, you put a buff, you put an arctic buff, and you literally turn your head into this ball of insulation, and you sleep out like this, where the top of the bag is open, but the body is sealed from the expedition neck baffle, and that will prevent most of the condensation from soaking up your bag in the morning. I've done it, and it's a little chilly, because the moment you get a you know, unlock and everything, it's a little uncomfortable, but if you want to prevent your bag from being wet, or at least dramatically reduce that, if you've got that expedition weight, seal up the neck baffle, and leave the top hood completely open, but have <clears throat> crazy amounts of neck warmers and buffs and everything on your head, and that will help prevent this. I've had this question from other subscribers, and hopefully this answers the question. Right now I am camping in my tarp. You can see that here. <laughs> Oops, just dump snow all over my camera. So that's how you do it, Nicholas. Thank you very much for the question. Oh, and uh, yeah, that, that is the only two ways I've ever figured out. If you got a third way, let me know. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show, Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.